Ruth Kramer, your holistic soul healer, and this is Trust. So here we are on the edge of a cliff, and how do you trust? Well, it starts by trusting yourself. We can't trust our outer world until we trust our inner world. So if you were going to leave this cliff on a hang glider, you would want to know that you could trust your instincts and what you know about how to fly a hang glider before you stepped off the darn cliff, right? But a lot of people will take a step back and then another step back and now they're further away from being on the edge of their position of trust. So what you need to do right now is take a look at where you aren't trusting you. Take a look at where you're not trusting others because you can't trust others if you don't trust you. And most of us have had reasons in our lives to mistrust our world. So take a look at why you've mistrusted your world. Take a real, it's a reflective step. So although we're going to move you forward, we've also got to step you back. So you have to go backwards just to reflect, but don't stay there. And then you can go forwards to see where you're willing to let go of the places where you haven't been willing to trust. So this is your opportunity to say, okay, where aren't I trusting? And how quiet and still am I becoming in order to reclaim that trust? So let me give you an example. If someone had had a bad experience with intimacy when they were younger, this is a very common one, and I'm sure many of us can relate to this one in some form, um, where you had somebody that mistreated you, and then you didn't trust other people of that gender because of that one mistreating. So how do you claim that back again? Well, you start by demanding that you get treated well by everyone around you. So take a look at that area that see how much you've done work on healing it and if you've done a lot of work then you should be able to start to claim that trust again in that intimate world if you haven't done enough work then you're not there yet you won't be there yet so take a look at where you're trusting and where you're not and your homework assignment is twofold take a look at where you feel completely trusting you're like a baby a baby lays in someone's arms so when they're sleeping and they're happy and they content they lay there like this totally open, totally trusting. And look at the energy of that. So a baby's laying there and they're wide open and a bit vulnerable. And in order to trust, you have to be a little vulnerable. In fact, to really trust, you have to be very vulnerable. So take a look at where you're not allowing yourself to become vulnerable and work on that. And let yourself be vulnerable in places where you feel the safest. And then sneak and tiptoe into the places where you don't feel very safe. Start to include a little bit of trust there, just enough to test that the people around you are trustworthy for you. And if they're not, step back in, regroup, bring trust around you and step back out. That's one of your homework assignments. The other is become very still and really notice where mistrust is on your body and how it turns your stomach, makes your heart pound, because it's another certain place of fear, it's, it's connected to fear. So it's another place where, you know, perhaps we don't breathe, perhaps we don't step out, perhaps we aren't willing to step out of our comfort zone. Someone who doesn't want to publicly speak because they don't trust that they won't stumble all over their words. And maybe they need to go to a public speaking class and go learn how to do that to overcome their fears and step into faith and trust within themselves. So take a look at where you're not doing it and step into it as much as you can. Take a look at where you are doing it and step into it slowly. Um, so your homework assignment for trust is twofold. Look at where you've been and not trusted and look at where you're going and where you wish to trust more. And take a look at the stillness, the still places in you and see how still you can become so you can learn to trust even more because you ultimately want to do this. You want to be the vulnerable baby who's wide open to everything great in her life or his life. You can't do that if you're not trusting, because this is full trust right here. So welcome to Trust. I look forward to seeing you in the next step. I'm Ruth Kramer, your soul healer. Take care of you.